going, y'all? Again, my name's Logan. I'm the general manager. I work for uh, Nate Miner. Uh, he's uh, owned the business for uh, quite some years now. Um, but yeah, uh, we do all kinds of stuff here. We do uh, more or less anything with a power button, as long as we can fit it in. That's what we like to say. Um, but yeah, we focus mainly on uh, cell phone repair and uh, laptop repair, PCs, desktops. Um, but we're also one of the few spots in the area where you can get uh, really high quality uh, soldering done. Uh, we uh, specialize in micro soldering and we also do some of the bigger stuff too. Nice. Nice. And so, you know, I was talking to you a few minutes ago about, you know, obviously we're just coming out of COVID for you guys maybe watching uh, this video in the distant future and wondering what COVID was all about. Uh, but you were telling me you just really got your uh, customer seating area back in line. Um, and, you know, that's important for any repair shop, I think. Um, we always had them in my shops. But you can <laughs> see the customer waiting here, uh, waiting area. Anything unique about that, uh, Logan? Yeah, sure. So uh, we have the big plush couches as well because sometimes people will hang out with us for, you know, an hour or two. Uh, some complimentary drinks as well. But, uh, yeah, we are uh, still building out what uh, we want it to feel like a lounge, basically, you know, with a TV and... Uh, in the olden days before uh, COVID, um, yeah, you know, we had Netflix playing, you know, people could put on music that they wanted to listen to. Uh, it was one of our focuses really was to try to make an environment uh, that, you know, was friendly to customers and then, uh, you know, basically piggybacking that uh, something that they could trust. Uh, nice. You know, and it makes it better and easier for other shops uh, that they're walking into as well. Uh, yeah. So, yeah. Actually, you know one of the things we were talking about again earlier is the open design and, and just yeah. kind of, you know, to give everybody a quick look at this, you know, ch different shops have different philosophies on this, but I really love the philosophy of an open design uh, shop. And you can see here, you know, what you see, which is what you get yep. you to work on your device back there. Um, talk about that a little bit though, Logan. I, I, I think it's fascinating. I think it's one of the reasons you guys are so successful. Sure. Yeah. So it's, it's been a, uh, you know, a changing process over the years. Uh, when Nate uh, first initially built this uh, store out, uh, he just had a few desks, uh, basically, you know, just uh, two or three desks um, and then a small checkout area here in the middle. But then the rest of the store was, you know, entirely for the customer. There were, uh, you know, areas for them to roam around. We still had these drinks and a couch and whatnot for them to sit on. Um, but yeah, the idea was that uh, we didn't feel like we had anything to hide. Um, and, uh, you know, we, yes, we could have built up walls at some point, um, you know, spent a bunch of money on contracting just to give customers the same feeling that they get from a lot of other stores that they walk into. So. Uh, yeah, you know, there's some good things and bad things for sure, but you know, when it comes to what our customer is feeling, that's uh, paramount to us. And so, a, a open environment, um, they're just trust is the default. You know, so what, what what would I have to you know say to you? I'm showing the repair directly in front of you. Um, and yeah, just it doesn't look like any of the carrier stores that they're dropping their phones off in. Um, most other shops, you know, they want to do it behind a closed door. So uh, it's just definitely. Um, not our focus. We, we want to uh, show people as much as we possibly can. I love that. And you were mentioning that, you know, obviously, like any shop that does a little bit more advanced repairs, which you guys do, sure. we'll, we'll check that out in a minute. Mm -hmm. uh, but some of your competitors come by and, you know, ask for your help. It's yeah. Not uncommon, a more advanced shop. Uh, but, you know, you were telling me that, you know, they, you invite them to watch the repair, right? And we have in the past, sure. Um, you know, when we get a good relationship with someone who's uh, another shop owner uh, nearby, uh, you know, Atlanta is a big city, so at the end of the day, they um, we really feel like they have their area to service, and we have ours. Um, and uh, you know, when we're performing some sort of service for someone nearby, a technician breaks something, and a customer really needs their device back. Um, yeah, you know, sometimes if if interest is shown, we have taken the time uh, to try and bring someone in the back and show them, hey, this is the equipment we use. Um, Explain to them, you know, certainly not uh, something you can just pick up right away, but, uh, you know, anybody can do it. I, I always say if I can do it, I feel like anybody can. So, uh, but yeah, you know, that's, that's part of that, uh, you know, open plan for us is um, that extends to people in the industry uh, as well. Mm -hmm. I love that. And, you know, the more we work together as an industry, I, I say this all the time, the more successful we'll be. I mean, here's a successful repair shop. Sure. They're staying busy all the time, doing a lot of business, and, you know, they're, they're going to welcome you in, competitors, and say, sure, you know, we'll, we'll show you what's going on and how we do things because there's that much business available for everybody. 
Well, sure. let's, let's kind of pivot around and look yeah. at, um, you know, kind of your cash counter, so to speak. Yeah, sure. Your customer check-in uh, space here. <laughs> so, you know, real simple, obviously. And, you know, we got a nice little uh, check-in sign there. Yeah, uh, sure. Right on the counter, <laughs> little, little uh, you know, advertising in terms of what you guys sure. do with screen protectors and everything. Mm -hmm. um, you know, and, you know, a little terminal there, a little square terminal to uh, take payments. Um, you know, and then accessories. Let, let's let's talk a little bit about you guys' accessory, mm -hmm. um, you know, strategy. I mean, I see you've got some cases up there. Sure. You mentioned you do some uh, screen protectors. Mm -hmm. You know, how, how do you guys do with accessories? Sure. So, uh, you know, I'll start right off. Really, it's um, always something that feels like it. when I get feedback from other managers or other owners, um, it's always something that, you know, needs constant attention. You always got to get that new thing in. You always got to move the old inventory that isn't going to move anymore. Um, so it's for sure, it's something that we're always trying to improve on, but uh, we have the, the basics, you know. Um, we basically try to solve a customer's need um, with the products that we carry. So if they need a case to protect their phone, we have as many as we uh, foreseeably can carry. Um, all different models and whatnot, uh, really reasonably priced. Um, a screen protector, you know, uh, we like to sell uh, Protection Pro, um, uh, but, uh, you know, that moves pretty well for us. But then also cables and, you know, car chargers, uh, external battery packs. We just uh, sold our last one earlier today. Um, but, yeah, you know, uh, we try to uh, keep things like uh, keyboards and, like, Wi-Fi adapters, because um, we do a good deal of work on uh, PCs and uh, other computers, like I mentioned earlier. Um, and yeah, you know, sometimes customers might just want a quick fix. Like, hey, I don't necessarily want my keyboard replaced right now. I'll just buy an external one. Um, that's more or less our focus is that, you know, we're trying to address a need and then anything on top of that is, is just icing. Nice, nice. Mm -hmm. I, I love these uh, screen displays too. We talked about those a second ago. <laughs> yeah, sure. So you, you, do you guys sell uh, two different um, products, you know, in terms of screen? Like uh, <laughs> I see it says AM and Prem and OEM, obviously. We sure. know what OEM is. Uh, yeah. Tell me about the display though. Sure, so uh, yeah, we purchased this from a major vendor um, and uh, we really like it. Customers uh, are kind of like uh, flies to a uh, lamp um, <laughs> when they walk in and see this. Uh, but it, uh, yeah, you know, it gives you the opportunity to install the actual um, products that you can sell to your customers or that you're, you know, currently offering, we're currently offering. Um, so we, you know, have a basic aftermarket screen, um, no original parts or anything um, as a, a displayed option, and then a, a premium refurbished uh, screen. Um, and yeah, we find, uh, you know, it's a little bit of extra talking with the customer, um, but for the most part, they're happy to hear their options. They make a decision pretty quickly. And uh, really, at the end of the day, it's uh, just another aspect uh, of our uh, procedure that tries to instill, you know, trust. Um, here, here we're showing you exactly what we're going to be selling you, uh, and uh, you know we we're not trying to hide anything. Um, and yeah, this you know this display base gives people the option to come up and you know actually touch the display. Uh, you can change the touch option, uh, which is pretty cool. Um, but yeah, you know this uh, it's just a, a good fixture. Um, we really only uh, had it a couple months now, um, but we love it. You know we can put our screen protectors on it too, so it's a you know, make a decision on every aspect of your repair uh, okay. kind of opportunity, uh, very yeah, cool. which is very cool. Mm -hmm. Very cool. I love it. Um, you know, again, that openness with the customers that pays off sure. uh, in spades anytime. Um, well, let's get, uh, we're going to yeah, come on back. The counter. Oh, come on back. Okay. <laughs> you got the invitation. But before I do though, Logan, I got to ask you, does this yeah. thing work? Yeah, it does. Yeah. So, uh, That's a pay phone, guys. yeah, uh, Nate, the, uh, owner, he, um, he got it from a, uh, when Bell South was closing down a lot of these systems and uh -huh. a, uh, I believe a, a family member, a mutual uh, friend of a family member, um, yeah, gave it to him as a birthday gift. And so we, wow. we, and it works. Yeah, we, we bypassed the uh, coin activation and hooked up a Google Voice line. Uh, oh, so it's got its own number. Gotcha. Uh, it's real funny. Customers oftentimes ask, uh, of course, you know, I need to use a phone. <laughs> can you bring me a phone? <laughs> uh, can I use one of your phones? And uh, we point them over there, and they oftentimes don't think we're serious. I but love uh, it. yeah, it's I got a. I, I actually use these in high school. Yeah. Um, you know, when I would call my parents and tell them I was going to hang out at somebody else's house. <laughs> right. So see, the coin goes in there for all you young people. <laughs> the coin goes in the slot, and you pick up the thing, and you dial the receiver, and you dial. And then if the call doesn't go through, your coin comes back out. <laughs> 
So, um, so yeah, there you go. I, I love that though. A little nostalgia yeah. mm -hmm. here in the uh, in the building. Well, let's take a look at uh, what all yeah, you sure. going on, man. Just just show stuff off. Tell me what sure. you got going on. All right. So uh, we've got a sort of just a basic check-in area. Um, Big old screen for our uh, customer relations uh, manager. Um, printers and stuff for labels. We always try to keep everything labeled as much as possible. That's a great label habit. Label everything that oh, comes in. Label it all, seriously. Nice, nice. I see a, a label there. I'm not going to zoom in on the name or anything <laughs> like that, but you got a laptop sitting there with a label on it. Uh -huh. Guys, keep track of your assets. Keep track of customer devices. Um, I told you before, Nate, in my old shop, we had this big shelf on there. The shelf did break one time, and all the phones fell off and got scattered. <laughs> we had labels, my friend. Yep. So we were able to make sure they got back where they belong. So yeah. great uh, system of doing things. Though. Sure, sure. What yeah. else you got going on? Yeah, so, you know, you all come on back here. Uh, we've got a lot of different uh, workstations that we have broken out, and more or less, you know, the same technician likes to sit at most of them, um, but, you know, we've got all the cables, all the tools, uh, mats, heating mats is how we like to heat phones up, um, but yeah, you know, uh, just plenty of opportunities in each station um, for uh, work to be done. Um, do, do you go through a lot of playing cards? <laughs> we do. We never thought that that would be a, uh, a, 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 you know, a, a big cost uh, for us, but yeah, you wouldn't believe how many cards we go through. Uh, you buy them in bulk, or we do, yeah. You know, <laughs> we gotta maybe find a different vendor to oh, buy more of them. Only people will know what I'm talking about. <laughs> yep. At this point, right? They yeah, for only sure. Only know what I'm talking about. Right. Uh, so here's another station of ours. Uh, it's uh, our old soldering station is here. Um, we have a, a replacement uh, that's in the back now, but we use this for like larger detachments. Um, you know, you see we're working on a big Wacom tablet here. This is part of the, you know, anything with the power button, we will take a look at it. Um, but yeah, a customer brought us this giant Wacom tablet. I believe that they, uh, you know, suspected a shorted cap somewhere. So um, we're trying to figure that out. But nice. yeah, uh, you know, uh, just a small workstation here. We have a... Uh, and, and before we jump on, I want yeah. to talk about, you know, again, this is something only uh, repair shops will know, you know, having donor funds. Right? <laughs> yeah. So abandoned phones or sure. stuff that people uh, leave behind, uh, you know, goes in your donor pile and you can see, you know, uh, we've got some boards sitting out there. Mm -hmm. um, you know, you can do a lot of stuff with donor phones. Buy, you know, even buy broken ones off the internet for five or ten bucks if you can. Oh, yeah. Um, people will sell anything, right? Oh, very much so, yeah. And, uh, yeah, the amount of times that we may not have had a fresh packaged uh, part for a customer and... Uh, ultimately had something we could sell them, you know, in nice. full transparency. Hey, it's used. I'm pulling it off this phone. Yes. Um, most customers are happy to do it. And yeah, that's one more phone that uh, isn't getting purchased or thrown away. Um, yeah. And, uh, you know, one more part. Yeah, one more part that's going into a device. So yeah. true, true story. Had a, gar a girl come in uh, one of my stores one time. Couldn't afford a repair. Couldn't afford like uh, even a used part. So we went through our donors, found a cracked screen. Yeah. But she said until payday, you know, she needed something more that her phone would work. Sure. And so we put it on uh, for free, actually. Um, and she came back, sure enough, on payday. And we had a customer for life. So, so yeah, using what you got, sustainability, making sure you're not just throwing stuff away um, is a great way to do yeah. business. Yeah, it's a, it's a, it's a core uh, function for us as well. Um, one of our core values, uh, I mean. Um, you know, that's the role that we're playing in the larger picture as well. Um, you know, keeping stuff out of landfills, yeah. uh, keeping, uh, you know, all kinds of uh, electronics flowing instead of just getting thrown away. So, I hear you, man. I yeah. hear you. Mm -hmm. So, what yeah. else we got going on over here? So, we, we kind of hit this workstation. <laughs> yep. Nice, nice uh, big screen to work off. Yeah, we got another iMac, a printer station, a little office. Uh, and then our uh, actual repairs and sort of a breakout station. So we have larger items get checked in here. Um, not actually a very large thing here, but uh, yeah, you know, you see we have many, many iPads from a local school um, nice. that we basically chip away at those because uh, they contracts are great. Yeah, yeah, um, we uh, maintain that uh, as much as possible. Um, but yeah, we've got a little system for the uh, sort of designation of projects as they move along. Um, you know, and we, we try to keep that visually represented uh, and then represented in um, the actual system as well. So, yeah, anything we can do to keep up with all the repairs that uh, come through the Atlanta area. So, uh, yeah. yeah, we get very busy for sure. Nice. Um, but yeah, so you know, we got. Yeah, sure. Uh, so, we got a little section to uh, take packages in, um, and, you know, when a customer's part is not, uh, or when their device is not here. Um, 
a actual, uh, you know, the part uh, will sit here once we've received it. We, again, put a label on it, label on everything. Um, and then, you know, they come in and we stage the repair and, and take it from there. Uh, let, let me ask you about the air compressor because, you know, that's, yeah. a, that's a subject a lot of guys ask questions about. Yeah, um, sure. You know, you got a nice uh, air compressor set up here. Is that, that coming valuable or uh, pretty valuable for you guys? Yeah, hugely. Um, you know, we use it to uh, set down um, iPad screens or other, you know, glass screens on uh over displays um, where they're not laminated. Uh, we'll use it to blow out dust. Um, we uh, use it to clean out charge ports, uh, any other port that a customer may need cleaned. Um, yeah, it's a, it's a serious uh, uh, air compressor there. So, you know, they make the canned air and um, the small electric uh, compressors that I've seen and have used them over the years, and they're, you know, sure is just nothing like a uh, nice industrial yeah. air compressor. Can, so can you go through a lot of canned air. Yeah, you will, yeah. And <laughs> it, it costs will add up, and it adds up to about one of those. So, uh, yeah, we, we pulled the trigger on that a long time ago. Nice. Um, more compressors that Nate has uh, than he cares to admit, probably. So, uh, Bit of a collector. <laughs> yes, very much so. Yeah, but you know we've got a, a you know a huge bench here. Um, we we call it the island, um, where more or less you know general purpose repairs can come in and break out for the day and then get finished and then put up uh, once they're done. Nice. Um, so yeah, in the middle of the day, this uh, this island here gets uh, very full uh, of projects uh, as we're moving them along. Um, it, it seems like with one big table too, yeah. it's a great way you guys can collaborate. Exactly, yeah. right, nice. yeah. You know, certainly on that note, there's um, we encourage that uh, around here really. Uh, anytime one of our technicians has a question about something, you know, we have our messaging channels that they can send uh, to us. Um, send a question to us, either Nate or myself, or you know, anyone who's willing to chime in in the company. Um, hey, I've got this iPad. I've tried this. I've tried that. It's still not working. What do you guys think? Um, and we will, you know, send them good resources, or you know, actually come in and, and physically work alongside as much as possible. Um, but yeah, we, we, we believe in trying to be a learning environment um, as much as possible. Um, try to push people towards the resources that are going to help them in further repairs down the line. Uh, and yeah, that's just internal. Uh, we you know, certainly are trying to encourage that on a large scale too. Um, yeah, easier said than done. Hey y'all, hey, we'll be right with you. We're gonna pause for a second. All right, so yeah, Logan had a couple of customers come in here, which he did a masterful job of <laughs> dealing with. So uh, wanted to film it, but you know, customer privacy, so I guess sure. we're not going to do that. But Thanks. yeah, can, uh, keep telling me more about the island here. I love this, um, and, and I love. You know, let me just point out, you know, as I'm kind of looking around, I, I see you guys are using good quality tools. Yeah. Oh uh, yeah. Which, which I know, you know, there there can be the temptation for some uh, shops. You know, to use cheap stuff. Sure. Um, and you know, there's a huge advantage to using better quality things. But you know, I see the the Weha, uh, you know, screwdriver set. Yeah. Like Zoom over there with the red cap. Yep. Uh, yep. Yep. Uh, and some other things that you know are good quality. So um, you know, that that looks uh, like you guys are running a, a good ship. Yeah. Sure. So yeah, that's one of those things that. Uh, you feel like you're saving money on the front end, but you don't realize how much money it's costing you on the back end uh, with, you know, technicians who can't get something done because they don't have the right tools or, uh, you know, screws that are stripping or, you know, you name it. Um, yeah, that's one of those uh, non-negotiable expenses that we like to talk yeah. about is like yeah. you get the good stuff and good work will follow uh, as much as possible. Um, that makes sense. Right, yeah, but that's the idea is that we, we try to keep as much in store as possible. Um, you know, technicians can choose to use their own tools if they're used to something already, as long as it's, you know, decent. Um, but yeah, beyond that, we, we provide tools um, as much as possible to anyone who comes and works for us. Nice. Um, and, yeah. and I noticed too, um, you have an accordion up there. <laughs> yeah, sure. So, <laughs> Nate, Nate would love uh, us talking about that. So. Yeah, uh, it was a, uh, I believe, uh, a possession of Nate's as well, um, and uh, it needed some work done. And one of our customers, um, so we're always talking with them about what they do, and uh, they ended up being a um, an accordion repairman, probably the only one in the entire Atlanta yeah, area. I uh, know no accordion yeah, sure. people. So if you need an accordion repair, anybody <laughs> yeah. who's watching this now, call screen fix it. Yeah, apparently we know. Yeah, I think his name is uh, I think his name is Jack. Yeah, he'll Jack, be yeah. The accordion repairman. <laughs> sure. I love it. 
So it. it mostly stays here as a, a conversation piece at okay. this point. Yeah. You, you got my conversation. Yeah, yeah, so nice. yeah, for sure. Yeah, people Love always it. ask if we fix it, but uh, <laughs> you know, and we've tried. We opened it up, but that's about as far as we got. So what else you got going on, Logan? Yeah, sure. So you know, that's more or less uh, the big main area. Um, we have our uh, right behind Jackson here, our uh, Protection Pro, you know, machine uh, for uh, cutting screen protectors and sure. stuff. So yeah, we do the applications there. Um, over in the corner there, we have a uh, sort of a data recovery uh, situation. Nice. Um, we've got some more equipment in uh, one of our other stores um, that uh, is a little bit beefier uh, in terms of uh, its capabilities. Um, mm -hmm. But yeah, and uh, you know, another uh, iMac uh, that people can uh, go and sit down at and uh, you know, perform uh, updates on ticket notes or data transfers, you know, anything of the uh, like. Um, but yeah, you know, uh, Apologies for the mess, definitely some uh, rearranging that is still happening, but uh, I always say that a, a store that is too clean is not very busy, so exactly. uh, that's that's uh, where we fall. Um, exactly. Yeah. I love the logo, by the way. That just... Uh, uh, sure, with the, with the cracks going through it. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Makes it tough for printing, but very, very, very memorable. Exactly. Yeah, we like exactly. it. Exactly. I like yeah. it. And yeah, our slogan, of course, uh, we love it. You know, it's plain and simple. We're here. We exist uh, because you broke something. Yeah, yeah. break stuff all the time. <laughs> yeah, sure. Funny how that happens. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Uh, but yeah, you know, we also accept uh, e-cycling um, oh, nice. from the local community, which is, you know, a conversation uh, in and of itself. Uh, yeah, you know, uh, we take uh, basically anything that a customer is trying to get rid of as long as it's not uh, too large or too cumbersome. Sure. Um, but yeah, we'll take their charging cables, uh, uh, you know, glasses, mostly full of stuff from our repairs. But yeah, you know, uh, we get it picked up uh, with a local partner uh, regularly and, nice. um, you know, the data gets destroyed. And it's just another uh, aspect of uh, our procedure that tries to make sure that, you know, this stuff isn't just getting thrown away, um, yeah. you know, is going somewhere that is going to take care of it. Um, about batteries what do you guys do with the old batteries yeah sure so you know we have those stored uh, in a separate location um, uh, over underneath our uh, sort of check-in area over okay. there um, and yeah you know the the uh, concerning batteries they go in a lockbox uh, for uh, you know only a short period of time um, and uh, anything else used batteries we'd uh, get them picked up uh, by the same e-cycling uh, partner um, nice. so they come by regularly and make sure that we're not sitting on batteries for too long and uh, you know, if not that, we'll take them to a local Lowe's or something like that. Um, if there still is, you know, a drop uh, box there. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah E-cycling, y'all. Y'all got to do that. I've, I've heard yeah. some horrible stories about what you do with uh, e-waste. Yeah. Find a good partner. There's guys all over towns. We have actually have some resources on our website. Yeah. Uh, to cool. uh, connect in with different uh, groups there. So cool. Well, this is an awesome tour. I'm very excited because we're going to, I don't know, see a little bit more. Yeah, I'll take you guys in the back a little bit All and we'll right. see what else we got. Can't wait. So we have uh, what I like to refer to as our lab here in the back. Uh, I'm going to cut on some lights so y'all can see what we're working with. You need a cool sign over, over <laughs> the lab. Yeah, if anyone, if anyone can make us a sign, hit me up. Okay. Nate, if you're watching this later, you need a cool sign. Over need a cool the sign. Lab. So yeah, you know, uh, we started in the back here. Um, we have uh, a lot of MacBook uh, donor parts. Um, so this is stuff that we don't necessarily put through to the e-cycler immediately. Um, Cause it's a, uh, you know, definitely a, a sort of higher margin part, um, you know, in general on those markets, it's mostly used uh, pull parts that are getting sold uh, anyway. So. Uh, yeah, we'll hang on to them for as long as they're, you know, relevant for sales. Uh, we keep MacBook logic boards up here for donor chips, donor parts, um, anything that could help a current customer uh, try to get their thing fixed. Um, but yeah, an ultrasonic cleaner, which uh, does not get a lot of use um, lately, but it had its heyday. Yeah, head, in, head into liquid damage season, though, too. Yeah, 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 exactly. So, Lakes, you know, pools, rivers. All right, coming up soon, we're going to be running that thing uh, a little bit more often. Um, yeah, we use a back glass uh, laser here um, to uh, assist in the iPhone back glass process. Um, there's a lot of ways of doing it out there, um, but this is the one that we landed on. Um, nice. It's a workhorse. It does us well. We can do, you know, engravings and stuff on uh, personal items, on, uh, you know, electronics, um, cool. business cards. Yeah, you name it. Um, it. It looks like you guys stole this Isaac Lab thing. <laughs> 
Yeah, this was a Some sort uh, of university uh, testing facility. Yeah, sure. So yeah, we won't talk about where it came from. <laughs> All right. uh, uh, yeah, no, we got it from uh, you know someone was selling it uh, uh, from South America, I think. So we really? we paid yeah. yeah we paid customs uh, to get it in here because cool. the. Uh, yeah, the quality was very good. So, yeah, we at one point uh, were dabbling with screen refurbishing, and that was the idea, was to have a big clean room. Um, yeah. It, uh, at this point, is uh, harder to move than it is to just leave it here. So uh, <laughs> we, we work inside of it. Um, and it, it helps with fumes from the laser and whatnot as well. Nice. So uh, that's pretty cool. Yeah, um, but yeah you know, that's, uh, that's more or less the uh, laser area. Um, but yeah, the you know the rest of the function of this room is uh, our micro soldering queue. Um, so, uh, you know, not all of our technicians necessarily know how to um, you know perform some of these repairs. So, uh, we consider that a, a separate uh, work queue from the usual parts replacements or other diagnostics that are going on on the main floor. Um, and so, a technician working back here, a micro solder, uh, soldering tech. Um, a micro soldering tech uh, will have a uh, you know basically all their work and all their tools necessary just in this room. Um, so yeah, I'm not sure what this room was initially used for uh, when this building was built, but uh, I don't think that uh, the uh, builder had any idea that we'd have something this complex in here one day. So, uh, but yeah, uh, this is our main soldering bench. We've got an AM scope, uh, stereo scope uh, with a, a boom. Uh, arm which is you know if you're going to do it you do it right and get one of those uh, a, a nice soldering iron uh, with different size tips uh, but we work very small so you know we're talking incredibly small wow. fine tips um, there are oftentimes uh, when, uh, you know i personally when i'm making connections uh, back here um, soldered connections sometimes the wire that i'm using is uh, thinner than one of my hairs uh, wow. and so you know actually doing that work is um, it gets complex uh, for sure yeah, yeah, we got you know more equipment here than we know what to do with. Uh, yeah. We figured if it can serve a purpose, we'll buy it. Uh, <laughs> you know, a power supply, which is great for diagnostics. Uh, you know, uh, preheaters for doing uh, all sorts of specific types of uh, micro soldering repairs. Um, yeah, this is one of those things that once you open up Pandora's box, uh, <laughs> you start doing these repairs, and uh, you you end up with more stuff than you know what to do with. I hear you. Mm -hmm. I hear you. Well, nice. Very well organized, again, <laughs> despite a little bit of a mess, but, you know, like I said, if it's not messy, you're not working. Yep. yep. So, got our, our glove uh, stock back in here. Another yeah, sure. part of any shop is having sure. your gloves. Keep fingerprints off everything. Oh, yeah. All right. <laughs> well, then, well, let, let, let's, uh, you know, we got the back area here. Nothing yeah. Nothing too exciting, but, you know, got a lockup cage back there. Oh, yeah. Yeah, um, security is, is paramount. Yeah. yeah. Security yeah, is paramount. A lot of guys have been dealing with break-ins. Uh, sure. Have you guys had to deal with anything like that? Or I know you got a camera sure. system in here. I saw that. Yeah, not personally. Um, Good. Yeah, we've been in this neighborhood for about six years now. And, you know, certainly other businesses that, uh, you know, we, we talk with around the area, they've, they've had their share of, you know, the occasional late-night break-in. But... Uh, no, we've been, you know, knock on wood, I think we've been uh, real, uh, you know, it, secure. You know, people, you know, see what we do and, uh, you know, don't, you know, it's not something that they can go in and just, yeah. uh, you know, feel comfortable uh, doing a smash and grab or anything like that. that but sense. Yeah, it's not, not something we think about. Do you guys just... sell devices at all or no? No, uh, we don't, actually. So um, we do uh, mainly service and repair. Um, we will uh, source uh, devices for customers um, on an individual basis. Mm -hmm. uh, but yeah, beyond that, um, that's another thing that I'd really like to focus on is, is trying to get um, a consistent sort of, you know, base amount of devices in store and uh, sure. be able to move those. Um, yeah, we've got space for them, you know, uh, who knows? Yeah. Uh, so that's in our future for sure. I hear you. Mm -hmm. I hear you. Well, you got a great setup. Tell, tell me what this uh, this cabinet is. <laughs> sure. I'm, so, I'm, I'm curious. Yeah, this is an interesting one, and then one of my employees will uh, be laughing very hard uh, when they see that we've uh, fixated on this. So, uh, this was uh, a this is a, a charging lockbox uh, for uh, phones. Um, so, you know, each one of these boxes, I'd have to uh, find which one is open. Um, <laughs> we've got all the keys in a bag. So, okay. Yeah, each one of these boxes has a dedicated cable inside of it that uh, we could rent out, uh, basically charging time. You know, okay. uh, drop this off at maybe an event or something nearby, or uh, when it's busy out in our area, um, put a little sign that says "Charge your phone." Uh, Give them the key for the lockbox, and they can come back and grab their phone whenever. Um, nice. 
that was the idea uh, for sure. We got it only about a week ago. Um, Okay. Yeah, one of still, our still a work in progress. Yep, still a work in progress. So that's you. that's why it sits next to me. So we make sure that it uh, gets works on. I love the creativity that you see in a lot of repair shops. Yeah, I mean, if it weren't for the creativity, we probably would have never figured out how to repair phones in the first place, or sure. tablets, or anything else. I, I love the retro feel too. It's a little bit older building. I know it's, yeah. it's hard to grasp here on uh, film, mm -hmm. but you can see, of course, the uh, ductwork. Uh, yeah. Above. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Um, and it, uh, it gives it a nice vibe on the outside and inside. I love love it. Yeah. Yeah. Nate, uh, he lives more or less uh, within a really close distance okay. uh, around so this here. This is his so. neighborhood. Yeah, oh yeah. Uh, Nate is a, uh, he's the uh, president of the East Atlanta Community Association. There um, you go. And uh, I believe it's either that or the Business Association, but uh, so so far as to say that he is involved in both of them. Um, so he's a big name around here just in general, and uh, I'm happy to uh, be a representative of, you know, uh, what he's trying to bring uh, yeah. to the area. Um, yeah, I, yeah, I've heard lots of great things about Nate. Nate's oh, on uh, vacation this week, by the way. Guys. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, otherwise, he would, uh, I don't know, does he like to be on camera or no? Oh, yeah, he's done yeah. it before, sure. All yeah, right. Yeah, you name it. Well, we'll, we'll catch up with him at a show or something like yeah. that. We're in town for the Gadget Repair Expo. Oh, yeah. So that's why we're out getting to see folks. Um, mm -hmm. I think Logan's going to go by uh, tomorrow as well. Yeah. A anything cool you, you have yet to show us, uh, Logan, or have we seen? The yeah, no, I mean, it's a pretty small floor plan. So, uh, you know, there's not too much, uh, I think, that I left out. Um, yeah, you know, we, we try to have a station for everything. So uh, that's the idea. I, I love it. I love you guys' openness. I, I appreciate your willingness to uh, come and uh, be on Show Us Your Shop. Yeah, Rob. Um, we're still developing this. We have, uh, for the first time, we listened to our viewers who said, get a microphone um, <laughs> right. for the other person. So hopefully it's working. Yeah, right. Getting yeah. a status symbol that shows that it is. Yeah. So, uh, so hopefully our sound on this video is going to be a lot better than the one before. <laughs> and uh, once that we're doing in the future. Well, Logan, I want to thank you for your time. Yeah, friend. Rob. Thank you, Nate, for uh, allowing us access to your shop. And, and, you know, thank you for what you're doing. I mean, you guys are making a difference in the repair community. You're uh, making a difference in your community here, helping people and uh, providing a vital service for everybody around. Yeah. Um, let, let me ask you one last question. I'll like yeah. ask people this, and I sure. didn't warn you ahead of time, so um, you're on the spot. <laughs> um, if you had one thing to tell companies like Apple or other OEMs about working with independent shops, what would that be? Yeah, sure. Uh, just give us a chance. You know, I, I think that there's there's a lot of uh, sure bad apples out there that might you know change the perception. Is but that a pun there. <laughs> Maybe not intentionally. Okay. No, <laughs> but that's a good one. Uh, no, uh, you know, uh, just give us a chance. Um, we are uh, you know dedicated to our customers uh, in a way that uh, you know Apple also claims to be. So um, you know, at, at the end of the day, if uh, if we align on those values. Uh, why is there not a way forward uh, yeah. if it's not just about money, you know? Agreed. And the, these guys back it up. Let me tell you first, I saw a firsthand um, Logan dealing with some customers. He did a fabulous job, by the way, Nate, just so you know, give him a, give him a raise. <laughs> um, and, you know, they've got outstanding reviews on Google. I mean, they're really proven that they are here taking great care mm -hmm. of their customers. And there's thousands of these shops all around the country. Right. Uh, just like Screen Fix. And they're right. serving their communities that their communities can rely on. Uh, to get their tech taken care of. So anything with a power button, right, Nate? Anything or, with a power okay, button. I'm sorry. <laughs> You're good, Rob. Anything with a power button. Absolutely. Well, cool. Thanks for your time. And I'm going to say goodbye uh, from uh, the Tech Care Association and show us your shop. Um, and, and that's it. Uh, we don't have a sign-off or anything, so we just say goodbye. <laughs> See you guys. <laughs>